This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at audio in Premiere Pro CC 2014. In this excerpt, I want to show you the difference between creating a dual channel mono clip and extracting and breaking apart audio. Okay, I have a stereo clip. Let's see, what stereo clip do I want to use? We'll use this one. That's a stereo clip. Notice it says left and right on the stereo clip. And I'm going to edit this down to the timeline. When I do, the left and the right channel are all inside audio track one. And we can expand it if we want, but I cannot have separate pan control over each channel inside that clip. Instead, what I have to do is I have to separate the channels before I edit the clip into the timeline. To do that, right mouse click or control click on the clip and select Modify Audio Channels. Then change this from Stereo to Mono. What this has just done is it's now unlinked the audio from the left channel and the right channel. However, notice the right channel disappeared because we've set the number of audio tracks to one. We're going to change that setting to two. And now we see the left channel and the right channel are both assigned to channel one, which is appropriate. The default settings are correct. Now we'll click OK. And we're going to take this, double click it to load it up into the source monitor. Notice that we now have two one channels. The left and right is gone. It just says the number one. Edit that down to the timeline. And now my clip is the odd number track. The odd number track is on A1. The even number track is on A2. By the way, if you want to select the entire clip, click on it. If you want to select a single track, hold the Option key down and Option click. And it allows you to select one track versus the other of a linked clip. It gives you the option of selecting a piece of a track. Well, this is the ideal way to deal with talking head audio, where you've got the interviewer on track one and the guest on track two. But you have two other options, and I want to explain what they are and why you'd want to consider them. If we go back to Dr. Surf, hold the Command key down, and again, let's see, what do we want to do? We want to go not here, select Dr. Surf, go up to the Clip menu, and go down to Audio Options. What Clip Audio Options provides is two ways to separate the audio and form an entirely separate clip from the video. Extract and break out to mono. If Dr. Surf was recorded in stereo, think of it as a performance video where he's playing music and you want to have that stereo effect, extracting the audio extracts a stereo clip from the source clip. Now the source clip is not affected, it remains undamaged, but now you've got two clips, one that's video and audio, and the other that's just audio, and if the source was a stereo pair, the extraction is also a stereo pair. Let's say, on the other hand, that you have a camera that records four tracks of audio on set. You have four actors. Each actor is on their own mic, and their own mic is feeding into a separate channel. You don't want the, the channel two actor to be in a stereo pair. It's meaningless. You want to have separate control over all four of those actors. So you'd select Breakout to Mono. What Breakout to Mono does is it now creates four standalone monaural clips based upon the number of tracks. If it was a stereo clip, you'd have two. If it was a, a four-track recording, you'd have four. And if it was an eight-track recording, you'd have eight. But each one of the clips is a mono clip. This gives you the maximum flexibility for setting pan and levels. But because audio, especially AIF and WAVE, not broadcast WAVE, but audio doesn't have time code. So there's no way to get your clips in sync with the video because now we've got a separate audio clip from the video clip. So if sync is important to you, you want to change the channels like we used under Modify Audio Channels because that retains sync but gives you access to every single audio track separately. If sync is not important, you don't need the video or you just need wild sound or you want to separate everything into its components, then break out to mono, mono clips or extract audio multi-channel clip is an easier way to work. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at audio inside Premiere Pro CC 2014. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 151. By the way, 
Membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than a thousand movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.